Hi, I'm Kelly Lamrock. Now, I always believe that elections should be about ideas, not image. And you know, we can all put out all kinds of glossy brochures and slick signs, but they don't give you a sense of which candidate knows the issues, what, what really makes us want to run, what our values are. So, I've been recording these videos to let people know what I think is really important. And, and thanks for joining me so I can talk to you about some of the things that make me want to run for another term to represent you. You know, we've been pretty lucky here in Fredericton. We've got a beautiful city, and our economy has stayed strong. Even in the middle of a global recession, we've been adding jobs. But we've got a lot more to do. One thing I want to do is keep working with the, uh, my other colleagues in the legislature on both sides of the aisle to make sure that we brand our city as a smart city, work with the mayor and council to attract top-notch employers, make sure that we do a better job of helping small business with a venture capital fund and mentorship for entrepreneurs, make sure that we're welcoming to those from other countries who will grow our population and bring connections internationally, have an emerging market strategy. You know, we've got over a billion middle-class consumers in India, China, and Brazil. We should have a plan to get our producers and our businesses an opportunity to get into those markets. And we should keep doing things like building our new community college, bringing the Microsoft School here to Marysville and Devon, so that we are a destination where employers always know that the workers with the top skills, the most creative ideas, are right here in Fredericton. Those are some of the ideas that I've been talking to people about, from commercializing research so we make, get full benefit from our universities, to making sure that we're a smart city. But I also want to talk to you about one issue that's really important, and that is protecting the vital role of the civil service here in Fredericton. Now, for seven years I've been an MLA, and I've worked every day with people in the public service. And I can tell you that we are lucky to have the public servants we do. Often it's a thankless job, but they're the ones who prepare new ideas, do the research, deliver the services. They work on the front line making sure that when you interact with government, you actually have a positive experience. And I think our public servants deserve the kind of respect that we've tried to give them for the last seven years. Now, it hasn't always been like that. A lot of people might remember in 1999 when the Conservatives first took office and we had Paul Robichaud coming in and saying to a hundred people, by the way, your job's gone, have a nice day, and then leaving as the Deputy Minister handed out the pink slips. Now, that's starting again. When he's not in Fredericton, David Allward has given a number of speeches where he said to people, don't worry about the cost of these promises, after all, I'm going to reduce the size of the public service. He doesn't say it in Fredericton, but he says it in St. John, he says it in Moncton, and he says it in Dalhousie. And we know that if we've learned anything from history, that's often the very first place that conservative governments look for. Well, I got to tell you, we all have to be fiscally responsible, but there is no way I'm going to let anybody balance the books on the backs of Fredericton. Our city deserves to be treated equally, not better, but equally. And somebody has to have a plan that is something more than just cutting Fredericton jobs for the benefit of the rest of the province. This isn't just an issue of those who work or have family members who work for the public service either. If we lose jobs, that means our businesses have fewer people who have money to spend. It means that many businesses will fail. It also means it's harder for us to bring our young people here and make sure that we're a place where you can visit your grandkids down the street, not a plane ride away. Ultimately, it means that we've got to have MLAs who understand the importance of being a strong, independent voice, standing up for the public service, standing up for Fredericton's economy. You know, for a long time, we didn't see Fredericton get very much out of government. And we saw a lot of jobs put in Moncton, but very little put in Fredericton. Now, from the Convention Center to the Community College to the York Street train station to the Princess Margaret Bridge to the Route 8 bypass, Fredericton's getting their fair share. I, I chose this community because I love it. I grew up in Fredericton. My family's here. This is where my wife, Karen, and I wanted to raise our kids. And I can tell you that if anybody tries to hurt our economy for political benefit, I will stand up and I will make sure I fight for Fredericton. You know, you've seen me for seven years do that, do my job. You know, in opposition, I was never afraid to stand up for what was right and never afraid to publicize the things we needed. And in government, I didn't just talk about things, but I've delivered by working with my colleagues. When I said we'd get the Cliff Street um, bridge ramp, when I said we'd get the Route 8 bypass, when I said we'd get the community college, I've always worked hard to keep my promises to Fredericton, and I'm making this one. We will have a plan to grow our economy, and we won't let any government cut the civil service or take jobs out of Fredericton. I'm Kelly Lamrock. I'm on the north side, and I always try and be on Fredericton's side. That's why I'm running.